The band Heaven 17, whose founder members Martin Ware and Ian Craig Marsh were in the original lineup of the Human League, have a single out at the moment called Let Me Go. They recently spent a cold and drafty night in Marleybone Station making the promo video. Mike Andrews, complete with overcoat and thermal underwear, was on hand to watch the proceedings. He began by talking to director Steve Barron, asking him just who commissions a pop promo. It varies quite a lot from uh, job to job, but 50% of the time, I suppose, it's uh, the record company who directly come to us and give us a budget or say they've got a band and they send us a track. Um, but there are, I mean, we've got regular clients where the bands actually approach us direct and, um, and some bands also where their management's very strong, where they do want to come. They want to come and find their own video company and they don't even talk to the record company about it first. Could you tell us about this Heaven 17 video, what the story is for this one? I found the track very atmospheric. It's a song called Let Me Go. And um, it, it was an interesting idea, actually. Danny Kleiman showed me a, a photograph that was taken of a set of a scene in a, a railway station where all the cast had gone away. It looked so eerie and so atmospheric. It just lent itself to a, an idea, and, and we developed it from there. We're off to Marlborough Station at midnight because you can't get a, a big railway station empty at any other time except through the night. So obviously we've got to work the crew through the night and everything to get it. Sometimes we get a band who have got a very strict idea of their image and uh, they come up okay, with yeah, a basic that's idea that's and we turn it into film terms and again other times they'll come to us totally with a track and, and totally leave it up to us. We didn't actually know until four days ago that we were to do this. So the ideas basically came from Steve, the director, although um, the ideas we'd already formulated ran very much the same way as he was thinking. It's kind of, this video is, what we want it to end up like is a kind of centre section from a film. We don't want it really to have a beginning or an end. How important do you feel video is in Heaven 17 and it's the total concept of the thing? Very important for us because um, at the moment we don't play live at all, so it's the only chance really that the public gets to see us. So they're very important to us. I'm just going to flip it. Good. First position, please. Okay. Yeah. The media will say that, that £15,000 on a video is a fortune, but a video lasts three minutes and you've got to get the same kind of accuracy of images that you get in, say, a commercial. And for a 30-second commercial, your average budget nowadays is about £50,000, and we get 15000 So in comparison to that, it's, it's nothing. Do you think it's possible that a, a good video can maybe help sell a, a weak song? Yes. Obviously, we've got to be careful and not just churn out videos that are, are arty and meaningless and slightly offensive. But if they carry on being tasteful and, and being original, then I think we'll go forever. I don't think necessarily you should, video should be viewed as a glamour medium. I mean, I think it has been used like that to a large extent recently. But uh, hopefully, for instance, this video, we're, we're, we're aiming to do something that's got a bit more, uh, a few more levels to it.